Could this microreactor help replace diesel generators in the near future? Hi, I'm Katie Huff. I'm Assistant Secretary for Nuclear Energy in the U.S. Department of Energy. And I'm here in El Segundo, California at Radiance Headquarters, where I'm going to get a behind the scenes look at their Kaleidos microreactor development. Let's take a look inside. This is the company's brand new space. This 38,000 square foot facility is where Radiant will build the prototype that they expect to test in the Idaho National Laboratory Enric Dome. This high temperature gas reactor prototype could be the first of many prototypes demonstrated in this new test bed. So let's see some of the tech. This is a full scale helium test loop that seeks to target the temperatures and pressures that they expect to see in this helium-cooled microreactor. It tests the helium circulator device that is a complex machine intended to push helium through the reactor core as a coolant. Radiant is also working to build out its U.S. supply chain for its advanced zirconium hydride moderator. This material seeks to optimize the way in which neutrons are used in the reactor to efficiently create heat that can be used for electricity or for industrial applications. The company is also building software and modeling capabilities, including digital twin technology to help accelerate the speed with which they can conduct the design. And they're working with Idaho National Laboratory and Argonne National Laboratory to mature the reactor physics needed to model this reactor. You can learn more about our GAIN vouchers under which that work is funded at gain.inl.gov.